How unbeautiful it all looks now. Even behind white sheets, the early morning arrests speak of an unsightly underside. Or far worse, the corruption allegations come with the words rampant, systemic and deep-rooted, spanning at least two generations of FIFA officials taking tens of millions in bribes and kickbacks. Among them, Jeffrey Webb, head of the FIFA arm that includes Canada, which hosts the Women's World Cup next month. They were expected to uphold the rules that keep soccer honest and to protect the integrity of the game. Instead, they corrupted the business of worldwide soccer to serve their interests and to enrich themselves. The U.S.'s 47 allegations, together with the Swiss investigation also announced today, span the globe. Accusations of money laundering, racketeering and vote rigging relating to the World Cup in South Africa, the upcoming ones in Russia and Qatar, even the FIFA presidential election of 2011. This really is the World Cup of fraud. And today we are issuing FIFA a red card. In a hasty press conference, FIFA said it was all good news that its Congress and presidential election would go ahead business as usual. The FIFA, is, FIFA the is the victim here in this pending investigation, says spokesman Walter de Gregorio. Is Qatar. That's brought on howls of disbelief from critics. The arrests may be new, but not the allegations lurking for years around a hugely wealthy organization that answers to no one. President Sepp Blatter isn't named in the allegations, but at best, critics say after 40 years at FIFA, he can only be part of the problem. In a statement, he said this is a difficult time for the game, that such misconduct has no place in football and those involved will be put out of the game. This journalist shared his investigations with the FBI. He says today has been long in coming for Blatter too. It should have been history years ago. Corrupt organization. You know, they're a nasty, dirty little criminal group. Yet it could all signal change that fans of the game never thought would come. But they are skeptical. I think it's an organization that has completely lost its credibility. And not even white sheets will change that. FIFA officials insist that both the Qatar and Russia World Cup tournaments will proceed as planned. But there are now calls for the election to be postponed. And U.S. officials promise that today is the beginning of their work, not the end. David. Thanks very much, Nala. That is Nala Ayad in London tonight.